Hi everyone, I'm Ale. I'm a whole food plant-based vegan. Uh, I do food, so I believe in natural healing uh, from food, within food, and I am actually sick. I got sick about five years ago, coming up on my fifth year anniversary, but I got diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease about a year ago. So since I got sick, I was on a journey to make myself healthy again, and on that journey, I've learned a lot about what goes into our body, um, <laughs> what stays in our body, and what comes out. So today is what stays in our body by what goes in, and those are parasites and worms. And I have a smoothie part to a cleanse that I would like to share, and that's what my YouTube channel is going to be. Since I'm already doing this stuff anyways, why not get the phone out, record it, and maybe help someone along the way. So. Uh, in a second, I'm going to show you what I am going to put in my smoothie, but I'd like to thank you for joining, and let's get to it. All right, so here we go. We have some blackberries, blueberries down in there, and strawberries. Um, leave the tops on your strawberries because they contain iron, calcium, um, I believe magnesium, and they're just a great way to get in some leafy greens. Uh, some ground cinnamon here also helps to kill worms and parasites. Uh, these... Um, I do not believe are known to kill either of either worms or parasites. However, most people do not get enough fiber. Um, chia seeds, if you're dealing with hair loss or um, fiber or all kinds of things, these are great for. So I put, um, I just eyeball it, but it's probably around um, a teaspoon of each. I do two handfuls of mixed greens. Uh, that's what I'm doing today. Sometimes I do a handful of this, a handful of kale, and a handful of spinach, even though there's spinach in here. But um, just a great way to get your leafy greens in. Uh, next is oats. Um, I follow a lot of doctors that say you should be getting oats daily. So I just add some oats in there for some nutrients. Um, some unsweetened almond milk. Sweetens fine. Um, some raw pepitas. These are just pumpkin seeds. Um, and I put those in there because uh, what is up with pumpkin seeds is when you consume them, um, they make your uh, lining of the walls of your intestines uh, not available for worms and parasites to hold on to. So if they come in, they just go right out. Then a half of an English cucumber, also known, again, to kill worms and parasites. And then the monster of it all is a papaya, I almost said guava. Um, and what is so great about this is the actual seeds. The seeds are known to kill worms and parasites like nothing else. And then also just a little piece of garlic that I do not have out right now. And apple cider vinegar if you have it, but I drink that through the day, so I prefer not to put it in my smoothie. So let me start adding that all to the smoothie. So I'm going to slowly add this in. First, um, just a couple pieces of garlic here. Uh, what's in there is my red marine algae that is totally separate from what I'm doing. Um, then half of cucumber. Sorry, I'm just manhandling this, but these what it is. Okay, um, one cup of oats. Just kidding, a quarter of a cup, not one cup. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this papaya is. This is ridiculous. Ah! All right now. Put my strawberries in there. Okay, my smoothies are normally so big that I have to blend it several different times to get everything in there, but that is a-okay with me. Let me finish doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna add my papaya seeds now. I already did my first blend. So now this is gonna be two of these. Oop, I'm not even on there. All right, one, let me see here. Okay, two, then, oh, lost one. We're gonna do four of these as best as you can. I'm not even on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this, you guys. I'm so sorry. So we might do more than four. There's one. Let me do this and I'll be right back. All right, we just did that and now I'm gonna do a big handful of greens. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do another blend. <laughs> Okay, right, I'm struggling to blend it, so I put some water in there. Now, some ground cinnamon. Just sprinkle some in there. 
that's about good. Alright, now I'm going to mix it again and then I'm going to add in my last ingredients. Alright, as you can see, I added my flax, chia, and papitas. And now for its final spin. Alright, our smoothie's nice and blended. Let's see. Mmm. So it's a little bitter. Um, I eat a lot of bitter things. So it does not bother me. But if you are not fighting candida, maybe adding in half a banana or um, sweetened almond milk. Something of that nature to help you adjust to a more bitter diet. But the more bitter your diet um, or your smoothie, the less um, candida or parasites or worms want to stay because they like to feed off sugar. As well as cancer cells if you're eating a lot of bitter things. But that generally means there's no sugar or it's natural sugar and uh, cancer does not want to stay around and eat. Um, because it can't eat because it eats off sugar. So there's that. Thanks for joining. Um, and heads up, well, you've already seen it. My editing skills are awful. So if you did watch this video at all, I am so grateful and thankful. And hopefully I will be posting here more often. Thanks. Bye.